Marriage signifies a bond between two adults and the beginning of their future together. Unfortunately, thousands of girls suffer from a vastly different marriage experience every year. Usually, these girls become mothers in their early teens while they are still children themselves. Child marriage is a huge problem in Kenya. The practice robs the girls their childhood, their rights and dignity. Our journey starts in Samburu County where centuries old traditions determine the fate of millions of girls to date. 68% of girls born in the region become child brides before the age of 18. <laughs> and <laughs> Nodding <laughs> Yo tepa am neta neta riyan na dongan kita kita riyan ni jo gini ne rona bayel gini jo ye rona ni ne rona bayel no so na bonga da na bayel no na ri ni bo na yin ta to na bo am ni ne na bayel gini jo ye as ni ngas na dongan ti ni ni yo na ni ale na bayel so ki ko tu na ka wo na ta ka yo na ka jo ale na bayel I can't Yell, <laughs> 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 If I hear an eye, but I tell you something, I'm thinking of Bagananki. I'm moving away, Baba. Nice shovel for you now. Madame will only go to you anymore. I will not let her. I don't know how to go up. I'm going 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 Nice shovel for you now. Marabu, I don't want to go to the end of the world. I don't want to go to the end of the world. I don't want to go to the end of the world. I don't want to go to the end of the world. I don't want to go to the end of the world. I don't want to go to the end of the world. I don't want to go to
Poverty and the lack of economic opportunities are the major factors leading to child marriage in Bondo. Majority of the girls got into early marriage either to escape from harsh parents or from the difficulties associated with open hood status. Babangu na mamangu alikupa kitani. The year 2006. Na walituache watutu watatu. Au wakina babangu. Mabrothers zake walikuwa wameanza kututesa. Hata hizo pesa zini walituachia. Hau ndu walichukua zote. Kusa tulikuwa tumibaki tunateseka tu hapo. Sista mamanga kakuja kanchukua. Ndu kuchuka kuja tukaishi na ye uku. Mvile nilikuwa nasoma klazo itu. Nilikuwa nikirudi lunch. Sipati lunch. Ninapata kama wamesha pate hawa watoto wao. Na mimi narudi tu nja shule. Niliona kama iyo maisha ya klazo itu ilikuwa ngumu. Kusababu hata nilikuwa nimesha nini. Nilisha teleza. Nilikuwa naomba sister maumangu pesa. Hata ya naniambia. Sizi register kama vile niko. Sisa haizi kanipatia pesa. Sani niliamua tu nitoki. Nikuja nikai huku. She asked me if we can we can if i can marry her and uh, i also agree on that but uh, i myself i didn't cause to have such problem but uh, somebody else vile nilikuwa nimeka nilikuwa na makelele zilikuwa nyingi we have peace in this house, so I'm planning to get for her a small business that she can do when I'm riding border on the road. One of the schools that performed poorly is Mugumoni Primary in Magarini constituency. The top student in KCP scored 294 marks. In the upper classes, it's a grim picture. From class 5 to 8, there will always be empty desks, often belonging to two or three girls who miss classes every day. According to the senior teacher, between 2012 and 2013, 20 girls dropped out of school due to early pregnancies and marriage. And one of the most complicated cases they had to handle was that of Nina, again not a real name, who dropped out of school in June 2012. Alikuwa na matatizo, paka wakaenda sijit, paka polisi, paka fitali huko, akarudi. Aliporudi mbani, akarudi tena, akaja kusoma, lakini mwisho wa tamtu, alikuja na kaenda kabisa, sasa hajarudi, na sasa, na fijuwa mini kwamba anabeba mtoto, the girls forum. Hiyo, tumejaribu hapa. Mimi, njikuwa ko na mwenzangu, manamuke, mada mungine. Lakini, instead of improving, we have gone the reverse. But Nina's case is hardly unusual here in Kilifi because hundreds of girls get married off as quickly as they show signs of adolescence. Nina, we are told, lives some seven kilometers away from the school. Our journey in search for her takes us to this village. 
She dropped out of school in standard seven and married a 25-year-old man. She now has a five-month-old baby. A shy Nina, who is 16 years old, says she was pushed to get married against her will. She sacrificed the future she envisioned. She is one of the cases which we encountered here in 2011. She was pregnant in the first place, and we decided to do an age assessment for the girl and found out that she was underage. So her P3 was failed. The mother had colluded with the then defiler to make sure that they give tablets to the girl in order to abort, so that there is no evidence. But still the case went ahead. She actually miscarried. Then later the case went to court. Then the mother did not appear in court for three times. Then after that, the case was thrown under Section 87A. Then there is no evidence because the mother refused to give evidence. <laughs> but because the defiler was still at bay and they knew nothing had been taken into consideration, no justice was served. She again went back to marry the same, same girl. Her mother, however, declined to give us an interview. Clearly nothing much to look up to because Nina's husband is only a casual laborer working some 70 kilometers away and only comes home once a month. Korea in Migori County has got one of the lowest people's enrollments into primary school in the country and it is even worse when the ratio of boys to girls is considered. Due to poverty, families force their young girls out of school and into early marriage in order for them to get Cutler's bride price. At the chief's office, we meet 15-year-old Tabitha, not her real name, seeking audience with the administrator. At the tender age of 15, the mother of one has endured some of the worst ordeals of early marriage. Her body is riddled with bruises, a sign of the horrors she has experienced in marriage. <laughs> Uh, binti alikuja mida ya saa kumina moja hivi. Uh, kanyeleza kwamba bwana haki ya memupiga, memufukuza nyumbani na memutua mtoto. Na kwa kweli nipo muangalia ni kawana alikuwa na sema ambazo ziru. Alikuwa meumia umia na alikuwa kitembea kawa kichuchuma. Ndoza mapema kweli tunazo na tunajaribu ku, kuingilia wakisha kwamba watoto wakamilisha shule lakini wani nyingi kweli On being summoned at the chief's office her husband argued that they only had a slight misunderstanding Ah nimsi kumchapa sana iko ili yani nilimuoa alafu nikamlipa mali sasa tukao tu last my father's eh sasa ndo sasa naanza kuleta shida kidogo kidogo unaona watoto kama hawa hawakupata elimu ya kutosha na hawajakoma vile vile from the very beginning of her marriage, she has been living in fear. She was married off at the very tender age of 12, then hardly into her puberty after undergoing FGM. And this meant schooling had come to abrupt end. Mama angu walikuwa nyumbani pamoja na baba, wakaanza kuwa na kosa na kosa na. Mama katoka katuacha tukio watoto wadogo. Kaona mishe nyumbani ni magumu, acha nitoke nyorea. Kuorea watena nimeenda nimepata shida kila saa kupigwa pigwa. Maisha ya kuorewa ni magumu. Yanguka subuhi naenda shambani. Nakuja ni nafua na wasa vyombo ni nakufanya ranchi. Tumeenda kiburuwa
Anya kiona tu ni kona hera na ansa maneno no yo ando kuende sikita kiwe wani mbaya nataka kuwa. Kama ande sasa kama muta nataka oe. Kwa anya nafukuza muke wa kwanza au wana kawate. Kukua shurie ni nilikuwa ni nakuwa namba moja hadi namba. Namba sita. Nilikuwa standard seven ni kacha shurie si kusoma. Nilikuwa shurie ni nilikuwa na misha manzuri kuliko haya ya saizi. We are on our way to East Pokot in the county of Baringo where the old ways still thrive. Girls are given away as brides as early as nine years old. It is believed that between 60 and 80 percent of marriages are forced. We are here to meet a 12 year old girl who was married off to a man in his 70s. That defiance was before then almost unheard of. Nilibana <laughs> Labo akani pati ya mali, ilipata mbusi ya mtini. Na mwombe kumi. Anga miya tatu. Ilipurai kapsa. Na nilikuwa na mtota mbaya kwa shule. Nikasema sasa hii mali sasa. Mbaya ilitoka kwa mtoti yangu. Hata nisaidia kwa hii mtoto mgini mbaya nasoma. Mele gongu ten. Matakuli ya nyugibu kukupika pinyu. Kaya te. Magabkan <laughs> Cattle define not only the wealth for a Pokot man but his status in the society and his very existence. Hey! Mze Loyata, who is in his early 70s, commands respect from the community and his family is held with a lot of dignity because of the herd of cattle he owns. He has five wives and more than 30 children and he says. He's only warming up. Lewa nekalata kapa kutu. Momba panai kepecha. Prosto ne kukono. Mekwarge nyanyi nyeri. Kukono yao. Mekwarge nyanyi. Kengu na nyini. Malugu ya kwarge nyanyi napu. Mhm. Kepecha yu lewa nipa kutu. Maminya makosa. Pora tingete nengi mali. Kwa kukwa nge kwa mneki. Chemchen is only 20 years and the fifth wife to Mze Loyata, the mother of six, was married off at the age of 13. <laughs> Atai atasa mbaka ina kamilika aku nangini itasa angini ayo kama monungo ini kayi monungo aku nyaman magai nyi monungo aku nyaman magai nyi monungo nanya banget aja cuma ani bami tapali nanti baru mina nyaman magai nyi limeren aku itu mana muke anasa tu Anasa, 
The frail old man measures his wealth and influence by the number of women he has and controls. While still a child herself, little Cherupt moved in with a strange family in a strange village miles from home. <laughs> Bitter and angry, the distraught girl says that her only resort was to elope with a young man whom she thought would help her give life a fresh meaning. Lobuyet says community pressure led the family to plan for Cherub's marriage. At December 2012, we met this young girl in the county of Marsabit. By then, she was only 12 years old. Confused and lonely, Kate, not her real name, was eight months pregnant. Seven months later, I returned to Marsabit. Where the ancient culture of beading and early marriage thrives. Each year, hundreds of girls are married off when they are mere teenagers, some as young as 10. Kate has an eight month old baby. Watching how she cuddles her baby betrays the struggle to cope with motherhood because clearly it came too soon. <laughs> Life has been so cruel, she had to grow up way before her time, exposed to the horrors of beating that snatched her childhood. Aged 10 years, she had already been booked for sex and eventually marriage to a 27-year-old Moran. <laughs> Two years into it, she became pregnant.
Ah, na gaite danga. Ni person. Ni ta kamba juu ya nyumba. Anachika hiyo kamba na jihangu juu ya nyumba na anaambua sukuma mtoto. She is now a full-fledged wife. The young mother is struggling to raise her baby. She may have accepted that marriage is her life now, but Kate is still confused about her future. At her young age, Rhoda has already faced numerous challenges. She is six months pregnant. Come on, I'm trying to get back to you. My shamzuri, see, I'm going to have to go to school. 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 Records in most of the health centers in Bondok, Hilifi, and Pokot show an increase in the number of young girls visiting facilities for maternity services. In East Pokot, half of all adolescent girls have at least one child before the age of 17. According to health officials, between January and March 2013, two girls aged 12 and 13 years died after struggling for two days in labor to give birth. The deaths reported once and others are not reported. And their pelvis are not adequately prepared or are not mature enough to let the baby out. And the main type of the cut that is practiced in this, in this area is the infibulation type. So they exhaustively destroy the birth uh, system, the outside birth system of the female. And so it, it heals with, with thick fibrotic tissue, a scar in simple words. It's really difficult to let the baby out, and so the traditional birth attendants cuts it extensively, or even fail to cut the right part. We are even forced to do the right, the right cuts and let the baby out. At times they come when the baby is already exhausted, and the mother is exhausted, and eventually the babies are lost. 
The cutting season in East Pokot is between June and July every year, and according to a recent survey, 840 girls are married off around that time. Of this, majority had never met their husbands at the time of marriage. Even worse, majority of these girls were married off to men, some old enough to be their great-grandparents, and had not started menstruating when they had sex for the first time. Underage, married and pregnant, Nelly Chochoi is tired of seeing young Pokot girls in this situation. But to rebel, the girls have to take drastic steps. They run away from home to escape these practices. Majority end up at Kana Girls Rescue Home, the only rescue center in this first region. The rescue center which provides shelter and protection for some 76 girls help those keen to return to school rather than get married. What Kana Girls Rescue Home is offering the girls is a drop in the ocean because thousands of others still end up being trapped in this web of unreported early marriage. Intervention did not come early enough for girls like Chirop, never mind her age because she has a six-month-old baby. In Kilifi County, a teenage girl is far more likely to be a wife than a student. Social expectations often put pressure on girls to marry and begin bearing children before they are ready. Following research in five rural areas, statistics indicate that Kilifi has the highest prevalence of child marriage in Kenya at 47.4%, followed by Homabe at 38%, Kwale at 37.9%, Bondo at 29.5%, and Taraka at 25.3%. It's a big concern, because it, it, if, if we are not careful, if we are not going to be able to provide an enabling environment to protect these children, to protect these, uh, the girls and the boys, you know, and support them to go to school, to support them to get better health care, you know, and to really care for them. Then it means, what, what is it we're talking about? What's the future about? The future is going to be bleak. A survey done by the Education Office in Kilifi County indicates that between May and October 2012, 99 girls were married off with the youngest being 12 years. Majority were in primary schools, while 192 cases of early pregnancies were reported. Perhaps to restore the dignity of the girl child and save child brides like Nina, a group of women in Margarini is on a mission to rescue girls from early marriage, in addition to helping the community understand the benefits of educating their daughters. Kama Sain, I have reported that in Majenjoni Primary School, Wasichana Ishirina Saba, Class 8, na wama wako kumabwana, wameolewa. Kasa itakuwa hii Margarini yetu, hakuna Wasichana ambao itakuwa na wasomaji. The women say hardly a week passes without a distress call. And today, they are at Mujiheri to respond to the latest case. 13-year-old Rehema, not her real name, was unwillingly taken from her mother's home to a husband, a man 16 years her senior. Msichana huyo likuwa ni darasa rasita, hameolewa na mzazi wako, hamechukua mahari. Mahari kule tumambua mzee alichukua elifu kumi. Siku mpaya na mimi. The women nevertheless reported the case to the police station and the matter is currently in court. It is believed that parents too are major players in this menace. Some parents are reluctant or they are ignorant to tell the truth to their daughters. Kekuwa kuna punishment wagepata hili jambo ingekuwa mfano mzuri kwa wengine. And if a case of child violation has taken place, there is a chance and a high probability of compromise. All the parents and the child, they are 
compromise with the little amount, the little as 4,000, to leave about the case and they settle between themselves. According to the latest statistics from Korea West Children's Office, between July 2012 and August 2013, 54 girls were married off, majority were below the age of 15. Another 44 girls were married off between July 2011 and June 2012, while July 2010 to June 2011, 32 girls were forced into marriage. We cannot go alone to arrest. We have to involve other bodies. We have to involve the police. We have to involve the ground, the local leaders. But now if, if they look at you as an, as an outsider, or they see you as an enemy, who is, who is out to interfere with the culture, now it is very hard, like if, if they see a GK vehicle moving around in the village, it is always very hard because you will go to that home and you will get nobody. And then even if you arrest the witnesses, they rarely go to speak before the court, maybe they fear, out of fear. The local leaders, the chiefs, the religious leaders, they don't want to be seen to be going against the culture. So to them, they fear the Wazewa Kimila. If we can work on the attitude, then I think everything will work out. <laughs> Tabitha's life is stuck. Ingekuwa baba kwa nangwambi ambayo anarudisha. Mimi ningeenda nikae nyumbani. Yone chenye mtafanya. Sia tosemi etiana nyambi eti nyore watena ndipo achwe kurudisha. Na mimi nikitake nyende nyumbani stuck tena kuenda kuorewa. In Marsabit County, the girl child is still grappling with basic survival matters. Girls like Kate are deprived of basic services and opportunities. Tukijaribu kuongea na wazee kuambia hiyo maneno atufurahi hata tukiongea hawaoni kama sisi ni watu. Naweka semi na kina mama wazee hata waren bia. Kwa sababu watu nataka sai watu sio kama samani. Sai watu nasikisa tu. The most recent statistics was before the introduction of county governments and the key findings from the 2008 district level multiple indicator cluster surveys indicate that percentage of women married below the age of 18 in Marsabit stood at 41.6% while Moyale was at 56.5%. You know, this is a county that uh, the literacy is very, very high. As a governor, I intend to, to ensure that we come up with relevant laws that does not really outlaw alone, but ensure we, we follow up with a sensitization of the people, reach to their communities, and tell them, you know, why, why there is need to change. I've already opened a desk in my office that will be dealing with the very special circumstances. Wamba in the county of Samburu is where champions of change like Patrick Lembokita, an assistant chief, have been working spiritedly and tirelessly to end the practice of early marriage. During our visit, six distressed girls had turned up in his office. <laughs> Almost every day we get a case of girl shame, harassment. We don't have a district children office uh, here. So most of the problems, they end up being unsolved. To save childbreds like Rita, plans are underway to construct the first rescue center in the county. But the change is coming too slowly and too late for many. There are no adequate structures to monitor and prosecute child marriages cases in Kilifi, Bondo, Kuria and Marshabit. And no services that provide shelter to runaway brides. Ali marriage stands in direct conflict with the objectives of the Millennium Development Goals. Unless we, uh, we also address ourselves as a Samburu to those Millennium Goals, then why are we, which global are we going to inhibit? To Taishi Wabi? 
Why are we going to, to live? If we are not going to, together with the rest of the world, then we must change. The laws are there to protect these children, but they are simply not being implemented, or something is not something right is not going on, that these, these cases are still rampant. The county government and the, the national government must work together to ensure that they do all what they can to work in the best interest of the child. The Children's Act passed in 2001 prohibited the marriage of anyone under 18 and even stated that no person shall subject a child to early marriage or other traditional practices that are likely to negatively affect the child's life, health, social welfare or dignity. The new marriage bill outlaws marriage below the age of 18. It states that no person shall get engaged or betrothed to a person under the age of 18 years. First of all, Kenya is a signatory to the Convention on the Rights of the Child. That means we have promised that we will protect and nurture all our children. All our law enforcers should be fully aware of the provisions made for children, the legal provisions, and be able or empowered with the right resources to make sure that they prosecute. Campaigners say the authorities seem unable or unwilling to tackle what is undeniable a sensitive cultural matter. Where we miss the mark is that uh, the chiefs are supposed to be enforcing the laws. The chief themselves come from the same culture that believes a girl can be married when they are young. We've also had a case of a councillor marrying a former one girl and some of these cases just um, disappear because when you try to follow up and these are people in offices and it becomes difficult. So I think we need to try that popular social debate and movement to start so that the same word culture can change and communities can say, our culture is we will not marry, get the children who are below 18 married. Every child deserves that chance. So we've got to do something about these statistics. <laughs> Marriage can mean exposure to new hardship. As wives, their destiny will be years and years of household labor and child rearing. <laughs> Hata singe kuja huko, tungekua tunakaa tunaye huko kwetu na kenye nilikuwa nataka na nge nifanyia. Uyo na hata hata, mwakotu na isi ringasama wajawa ingasama, hama ayo wana hapa, na ayo minasi nanu, na ayo ngera ini na mwakotu na isi tata, ayo nda ya hata hitha nga ingo jina hitha roki nanu, ajo anyosa. Kona kera ini nato ajo ngai, ngai ya mpongkaki, kona kera ini, ngai ya ntibiraka ngangai, na adu waki. Ultimately, lasting change will only happen at the grassroots level when communities decide together that child marriage is a harmful practice and that they will all be better off by ending the tradition.